Hi everybody, sorry I haven't been around for a while, it's been a pretty hectic month, uh, but I am here to share something that I wrote. It is a short story called Harold. Every day the old man was there, sitting on an old wooden bench across the street, a freshly picked daisy peeking from the breast pocket of a well-worn grey suit. He would watch the people around him. Early in the day, when we all headed to work, his eyes would speak of anticipation. However, by the time we would return, his eyes were somber with disappointment. Whatever he had been waiting for had not yet happened. It was revealed one day by Betty, the older lady who ran Soaps and Suds laundry mat down the road, that the man's name was Harold Jacobson. Harold had no surviving family. His wife had passed many years before and he had no children. He lived in an old brown stone a block down and came in every Sunday to do his washings, which include that grey suit. Betty mentioned that she had spoken to him on several occasions, but always in a manner of business. Harold continued to be a mystery. Because of Betty's information, rumors around the neighborhood were that the man had gone crazy, that he, had, that he was actually waiting for his dead wife on that bench every day, hoping for, a beautiful, hoping for a beautiful reunion. The neighborhood seemed satisfied with this conclusion, and life continued as normal. People stopped being curious about the man, and when a new person asked about him, they simply told him, that his, told him the wife's story and left it at that. However, there was something more to the story of Harold. The clue was in the way he looked in the morning before the rush to work. He would never look through the crowds of passers-by, spying for his beloved. He would look at them, his eyes full of expectancy. Harold waited for anyone, possibly everyone, to do something, but what? It was a day when for once nothing seemed, to, seemed in dire need of doing, when a person could finally relax and be comfortable in that nothing. It was a perfect day for a walk in the park. Harold was there, in his usual spot, in his usual suit, but today he had a rose in his pocket. Perhaps he, too, sensed that it was a very special day. The sidewalk was busy with people, brushing past one another without an ounce of acknowledgement for their surroundings. They still had things that needed doing, and were in a rush to do them. The crowded street made, a, made the bench inviting. I sat down and smiled, looking at Harold. Hello. Nice day, isn't it? He smiled back, his eyes sparkling with satisfaction. The day is beautiful, just like your smile. I'm glad you finally came to talk to me. Ex excuse me? Oh, uh, that must have sounded odd. He looked at his shoes, a blush running across, across the age-worn cheeks. But I really am glad. His eyes raised and began watching the people again. Since Lorraine passed, it gets so lonely in the house, so I come out here to be with the people. I wait and hope that perhaps someone might come and sit with me. He raised a shaky arm and gestured to the throng of bodies, but they are so concentrated on their ultimate destination that I don't even think they see me. They see you, but sadly only as a curiosity. I really am glad you stopped by. I am too. Will you come back? Of course. Harold continues to sit on the bench across the street, a flush flower, a fresh flower in his suit pocket, but he no longer waits for someone to notice him, because somebody already has. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my story, and comments are very much welcome. It was my, probably the first short story I've written in a very long time. I have another one in the works, and hopefully I'll get that done before the end of next week. It's a little bit more of a fantasy. Um, but I do have a challenge for you. The reason why I wrote the story is because I have this cool book, which is all about little writing challenges. It's called 3 a.m. Epiphany. And the first one in there was the challenge for this one where I wrote a first person narrative within 600 words and I could only use the words I, me, or my twice throughout the entire thing. It was a huge challenge and I think I got a really good story because of it. And so my challenge to you is to do the same thing and write a story, post it on here, and we'll all enjoy it. So you guys have a great day. Bye.